Welcome to my utmost for his highest for August 12th. The Holy Suffering of the Saint. 1 Peter 4.19 Let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good. Let's look that up in my Bible. The chapter title here is Suffering for Being a Christian. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering as though something strange were happening to you, but rejoice! that you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. Talks about if you're insulted in the name of Christ, if you should suffer. 16, however, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. Because if we are being persecuted and suffered, it must mean that we're acting in such a way that the world sees that. So really, it's kind of like a badge of honor because we're acting so different in the world that people notice, right? So it's kind of a good thing. And then coming down to 19. So then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. Choosing to suffer means there must be something wrong with you, but choosing God's will, even if it means you will suffer, is something very different. No normal, healthy saint ever chooses suffering. He simply chooses God's will. Just as Jesus did, whether it meant suffering or not. And no saint should ever dare to interfere with the lesson of suffering being taught in another saint's life. Yes, don't interfere. The saint who satisfies the heart of Jesus will make other saints strong and mature for God. But the people used to strengthen us are never those who sympathize with us. In fact, we are hindered by those who give us their sympathy because sympathy only serves to weaken us. No one better understands a saint than the saint who is as close and as intimate with Jesus as possible. If we accept the sympathy of another saint, our spontaneous feeling is, God is dealing too harshly with me and making life too difficult. That is why Jesus said self-pity was of the devil. See Matthew 16, 21 to 23. We must be merciful to God's reputation. It is easy for us to tarnish God's character because he never argues back. He never tries to defend or vindicate himself. Beware of thinking that Jesus needed sympathy during his life on earth. He refused the sympathy of people because in his great wisdom, he knew that no one on earth understood his purpose. See 1623. He accepted only the sympathy of the father and the angels. See Luke 1510. Look at God's incredible waste of his saints according to the world's judgment. God seems to plant his saints in the most useless places. It does look that way. And then we say, God intends for me to be here because I am so useful for him. Yet Jesus never measured his life by how or where he was of the greatest use. God places his saints where they will bring the most glory to him. And we are totally incapable of judging where that may be. Wow. And I wrote here, um, compassion is different than pity. And that's true. You can be compassionate for people going through hard times, but he was saying that we shouldn't just be giving sympathy to people because maybe through that hard time, God's teaching them a lesson, making them stronger. It's a way for other people to watch how they're going through a trial that can bring glory to God. So I like this last line. I'll read this one more time. God places his saints where they will bring the most glory to him, not to us glory to him and we are totally incapable of judging where that may be so today if you find yourself somewhere that you think i shouldn't be here this is a waste of time i'm not doing anything how do you know you don't see the big picture my friend and neither do i so we just need to trust that he has a plan he's got you right where he wants you today and just go through the suffering like a big mature person and just try to give him the glory back Because other people are watching how we go through it. And if we give glory or if we give complaints. So be a good example today. And I will see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of the My Utmost for His Highest devotional book by going to utmost.org. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for him today. See you tomorrow.